Hey everybody, David here from True North Wilds, and I've got our April Mystery Tackle Box Pro Walleye Species Specific Box. If you want to get yourself a Mystery Tackle Box, you can head to mysterytacklebox.com. They've got a variety of sizes, a variety of species. You can subscribe and get your own tackle every month. Let's go ahead and open up the box and see what we got inside. While I do that, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps us out. You can check us out on Facebook, facebook.com slash True North Wilds. We're on Instagram, at True North Wilds. If you want to check out my personal Instagram, it's thomasdgs underscore angling. If you'd like to read, go check out our blog site, truenorthwilds.com. So first up, we have a Max Lure Styx. Uh, I don't think we've ever seen this brand before, but apparently it's going to make me fish like a pro. So let's say just a uh, hard bait, crankbait, long slender profile there. Nice uh, blue and gold, white belly on it. Looks look all right. What else we got here? We got the XRM series reaction strike. So this says here that it dives two to four feet. I'm gonna pull it out and have a closer look at it here. Apparently this bait comes in two sizes, the XRM 80 and the XRM 100. This is the uh, 80. Dives two to four feet. It's a uh, another crankbait, a little bigger bill on that bait. It's got a nice uh, foil coating on it there, so it's got some shine and some texture to it. It's a it's a good color for around here. Just looks like a regular uh, shad minnow, so I think that's going to work well. Looks natural. That's what you want. The next bait we have in the box is a Norman Lures Deep Little In. This is a real big uh, round bill bait. It says on the package it's 9 to 12 feet. Let's pull it out, have a little closer look at it as we always like to. Nice bright paint job on it, the orange belly there, and the nice big round bill. It's going uh, it's gonna get to that 9 feet, I'm sure. Hooks look, uh, look pretty good. It's, an, it's, it's neat that it's, if you look at how it's made, it's one solid piece. Yeah. And then they've painted it. So there's no, like a lot of them, it looks like the bill is like set in there. This one is like one. The next bait to come out of the box, we have a Smithwick suspending. Now this is a deep bait, 20 to 22 feet. And uh, I noticed something about this bait right away that I'm not used to seeing. Let's see if I can get out of the package so I can show you guys. It is in there good. So we're just gonna do some ripping. And try not to hook myself. That might make for an interesting video though. Now I've got the bait out of the package. I want to point something out to you guys, something I noticed right away. This is such a long bait, but look at the big bill on this bait. I'm used to seeing these bigger bills on shorter baits like this one here. So I'm really curious to see, uh, you know, how, how's this going to perform? It says it dives 20 to 22 feet, which I believe with this, uh, the size of this bill, one thing I, another thing I noticed now looking at it uh, that I appreciate is it says it's printed right on the bill, 20 feet. So, uh, you know, a lot of times you'll, you'll, you take the bait out of the package, you throw it away, you use it a couple times, and then you forget, you know, is this, is this a two to four, is it six to seven, or is it 20 to 22? It says it's right on the bill. We're not going to forget how deep this bait dives. Now, it's got a nice color. I found recently that the purple works really well. So... I'm curious to see how this bait performs, uh, 20 to 22 feet. This bait's really got me interested because it's got this long, uh, slender crank bait profile, but it's got the long, the big, uh, wide bill on it. So, you know, trolling at 20 to 22 feet, that's not something I normally do. Um, but I think, uh, you know, I have some aspirations to head out and target walleye and some of the big, uh, flat bottom lakes we have around here in Manitoba. So this is a bait that I know uh, I can go out and get to the bottom in some of those big, uh, wide, shallow basins we have around. Uh, also, the colors are really bright. It, it's hard to see, but there's a sparkle in this paint that I don't see in a lot of lures. So there's a, there's a lot of things about this lure that are catching my eye. Uh, I'm really interested to get this on the water and see how it does. We've also got some pre-rigged terminal tackle. So this is a... Uh, Thunder Mist Lure Company T-Turn Bait Rig. It's a little uh, pre-rigged uh, two-way rig. It's always nice to have terminal tackle. We all know we lose it all the time. So 
they take the knot tying out of it for us. It's also got fluorocarbon leader on it, which is nice to see. Hide that line in the water. We have here a Bruiser Baits. Fish the best, bruiserbaits.com. Let's see what this looks like, just a split, uh, split tail grub. Okay, that's interesting. So it's a, it's a, it's got a jointed body on it there. So it's a nice white color. Uh, you know, it's pretty standard. It's a blue and silver flake in there. Uh, but I have not often seen or ever that uh, that jointed body on the plastic. Um, it's also got the uh, the notch in the belly there, so you can hide the hook right inside. Uh, and hopefully that will prevent uh, ripping the bait, get some more get some more life out of it. Doesn't say anything about a scent, but of course we everybody wants to know. Uh, just just pretty much smells like plastic to me. Feels like there's a little bit of something on there, but I don't think they're really scented. It's I, I'm I'm interested in that profile though. That's neat. That's cool. That's gonna make that's gonna give you all kinds of action in the water when you've got your uh, body of the bait locked down on the hook. The last thing we got in the box, another standard. It looks like just a uh, twister tail grub. Let's get a closer look though. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's uh, real fish action, new scent formula. I, I can smell that scent. There's, it smells like a shrimp to me. Let's see what we got here. So it's got a long body, longer than I'm used to seeing on a uh, twister tail like this, and it's a really short tail actually. Another unique thing is the top of the body is uh, is ribbed, so that's gonna that's gonna give some action, some sound. And, uh, you know, I guess the intent is to just make it stand apart. And it does. I, I haven't seen a bait like this before. The smell, it's definitely got a smell. So and uh, some, some big uh, silver sparkles in that. Explosive scent and taste. Yeah, I would agree that that scent is explosive. I'm going to get that back in there, get that packed up. Try and lock away that scent. The fish are going to love it. For what's in the box. As usual, we got the big lure across the top of the box there. Uh, we got a sticker in there. Slap that on a tackle box. The Dipple Digest, which also has what's included in the box, all the prices. Uh, add it up real quick. Yeah, it looks like it's a good value. It's, it's a little more than what we're paying for the boxes, so that's nice to see. Overall impression of the box. Uh, it's nice to see four solid hard baits come out of a box. Um, you know, there's a good variety of sizes and of uh, depths. I'm really excited about this bait here with that 20 foot uh, depth and a long slender jerk bait body. Um, this chunk tail, all kinds of scent coming off of these. So I'm sure those are gonna work well. And again, this unique body that's on these bruiser baits. There's a lot of good variety in this box and a lot of unique baits coming out of this box. So that's nice to see. Uh, good job by uh, Mystery Tackle Box, putting together a good, mo good box for this month. Uh, as far as as far as it being a walleye box, well, crankbaits are uh, pretty safe for walleyes. Jigs, that's a standard for walleyes. Uh, putting a, a twister tail on a jig, um, and then uh, just these uh, soft plastics here. Can't really go wrong with those. Uh, I wouldn't say it's walleye specific. I mean, you're going to catch a lot of fish on these, but all these are going to all these are going to work for walleye. So it's nice to see. Suddenly I've realized I don't know much about fishing baits. I'm like, eh, it's got a long profile. It's pretty long and narrow. <laughs> it's, There's blue there. It's got colors. <laughs> yeah. It's got hooks. Hooks feel like they're hooks.